Tedard, page 26, Pashat Vayeda. Um, okay. Paragraph at the bottom of the sec second column. Okay. Now, Trev is explaining, uh, again, the ten spheres are not, Seichel and are not Hashem. Uh, it's only the essence of the neshama compared to thought, speech, and action. But compared to the essence of the neshama, it's only the way the neshama functions through the intellect and emotions. It is not the intellect and the emotions. So he says, and it's only like jewelry. It's not like garments that conceal the body of the person. It's like ornaments that beautify the uh, the body of the person. That are called tikkunim, which is chokhm and midas. Kinei antu chakim v'lo yibol chokhm yediyah. We say to Hashem in also in pasuk leyo antu chakim, you have chokhma v'lo yibol chokhm yediyah, but not an our known form of chokhma. What does it mean? Antu. What does it mean? Ant. You are. That's Aramaic, right? Antu means ato. You are. In earnings of Chakim Shanim Shabbat Chachma, it reveals the level of Chachma. Al Derech B'Malkim Shata Meitzig Dulase. In the place, I'm going to say, read it, and explain it. In the place where you find Hashem's greatness, there you see His humility. But Hadayin Ene Chakim B'Chachma Yediyo. This that we say Hashem is Chakim, meaning Hashem has a level of Chachma, but not in the known form of Chachma. Meaning, is the source of Chachma, says like Chachma Natsilis is not really a tangible level of Chachma. We explained the other days the ten attributes of Atsilis, Seichel and are one with Hashem. So what does it mean you are Chochma, Chocham, but not in the known level of Chochma? It means you are the source of Chochma. In other words, that level of Chochma of Hashem in the world of Atsilas is not a tangible level of Chochma because all it is is Elokus. It is the source that later on in the lower worlds there is a level of Chochma. In other words, to give you an, an example of this, a flint stone is the source of fire. You, you rub it together, you create fire. But it is not fire. You touch it, it's cold. You can put it into water for 100 years and take it out and rub it, it's gonna make, it's gonna make for sparks also. It is the source of it but not necessarily, it is fire. It's the source of fire. Chochma v'atzilis, what we say in Pasuch Leo, antu chakim, you have chochma, but v'lei b'chochma yediyah, meaning the level of chochma in atzilis is not tangible chochma. It's a level of the source of future chochma, and therefore we already call it chochma. Because it's the source of it. Like in the sun, they could not be at rain. Right, know? correct. But he said he explains like this. One, one minute. He gives another mushroom. This we could also understand based on what Chazal say. There is no great. The Gemara says. There is no blade of grass down here that doesn't have a mazel constellation, so to speak, that hits it and says to grow. That means every blade of grass here has a spiritual source. A physical apple, an apple has a taste. There's a sweetness to an apple. Are we going to say, let me give you a simple, what are you saying over here? You take an apple seed, you put it in the ground, out comes an apple tree with apples, yeah? Apple has a sweetness to it. There's a taste of the apple. 
Are you going to say that the seed and the power of vegetation that the earth has to produce together with the seed, the apple tree also has the sweetness of the apple? No. It has no characteristics physically of the apple, but it's the source of an apple. If you plant a different seed in the ground, you're not going to get an apple tree. So it's not actual apple, it's the source that apple, that the taste of apple comes from. The same thing Dr. Rebbe is explaining, that the spheres of Atsilas, yes, there's Chochmah and Bina and Das and Chesed and Gvorda, yes, there's 10 levels, but they're not tangible levels of Chochmah. They're not garments. It's very abstract. It's very abstract meaning, it's the source that eventually Chochmah comes from. In other words, even the seed in the ground has to germinate, it has to rot first, and then it becomes the taste of the apple. Nobody's going to say, even, by the way, even in the seed of the apple that you eat, after the apple is grown, the seed also doesn't taste like the apple. It's only the source of the sweetness of the apple. So he says, how are you going to say Ha'im nemar, are you going to say, Ba'an mamash of what, 26 of the body. She has kerech ha'tzemech, asher b'ardas, that in the power of vegetation the earth has, are you going to say, dam umesik as gam king? You can say it has got sweetness. And now that the mazel that hits it and makes it grow, meaning the power of Hashem that makes it grow, definitely ain't americhum is that cloud. It's not at all. And, and the mashal, of, of uh, the, the Surah Chalamish, the Flintstone, is even a, a stronger muscle of a higher level because the Flintstone not only is it, it's the source of fire, but not only that, it's the, really the opposite of fire. It's cold. A stone is cold. And yet, it's the source of fire. Hello, in your nose, he says, Tapi Yudalim. The Indian is as follows. Shamasi, Kasnim Shumi Chesed. Sweetness comes from the attribute of Chesed. Menido, bitterness comes from the level of Gvura. They're spiritual things. Chesed and Gvura is spiritual sweetness and physical sweetness. There's no, I mean, spiritual sweetness and bitterness. There is no Chesed of Atsilas, which is sweet, and Gvura, which is bitter, so to speak. You think there's, you eat chesed, you have uh, sweetness? No. It's a spiritual source of a physical entity called sweetness. It's like when it comes, the chain of the levels. This becomes physical. In other words, like this. Chesed of Atsilas is a source of sweetness. But there is absolutely no sweetness in chesed. Chesed, when it comes down, lower, 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 becomes the same thing Siddhis explains. Yav and Chumash expressions about God. They saw the Yad Yisrael, the Yod HaGadayla, Etz Belakimi, Yad HaGadayla, Ha'od Etz Adem Ragoy. The earth is the, the, the footstool of Hashem's feet. Now we see Hashem doesn't have a foot. And we know Chesed Duraya Yamina, Chesed is called the right hand of Hashem. Gvura in Basakhliya, right? Gvura Duraya Smola. Gvura is the left hand of Hashem. What that means is, it doesn't mean Chesed is the right hand. What it means is, Chesed of Atsilas, when it comes down, 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 more concealed, more concealed, more concealment, it eventually will become a right hand. Chesed of Atsilas, when it comes down, 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 becomes water. Gvura, when it comes down, 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 fire. becomes fire. Fire is the level of Gvura. That doesn't mean in the attribute of Gvura, this moment it's hot. You know, uh, uh, the Gvura of the Nevi, you touch it, you're going to burn yourself. No. It's like the flint, so you're going to touch it, you're not going to burn yourself. So the Altareb is explaining that the Svilis in Atsilis, the Svilis in Atsilis are the source 
of Chachma and Bina. But in Atzilus, all it is is Elokus. And like we learned in the past. But therefore, there may not be any ten spheres. There are ten spheres. But it disappears. It doesn't disappear. It, just, it cannot show itself. It shows itself in the spiritual way, not in the physical way. There's still a world of Atzil, huh? No Chachma in Hashem. This is the source of Chachma. Yeah, but that in Atzil is already Chachma becomes the source of Chachma. Higher than that, it's not even the source of it. That's why there's no Chachma higher than Atzil Because then it's not even the source of it. There's absolutely no connection to it. The only connection between a Flintstone and fire is that it's the source of fire. The only connection between Chesed of Atzilus and the right hand of Hashem Kaviyocho is that it's the source that when it comes down in, in that way, because there's different levels of Chesed, one level of Chesed coming into the physical world becomes a right hand, another level of Chesed coming into the physical world becomes water. Water coming out will become a left hand Kaviyocho, and, and it will become the source of fire. It's like we learned that the Svidus and Atsilas is like colorless water in a red glass, green glass, yellow glass, blue glass, purple glass, whatever. Yeah. And the reason why there are seven basic colors is because there are seven Svidus. And each Svida corresponds with another particular... But that's not in Asilus. Huh? Asilus, there is no blue in Asilus. There, there is. Yeah, there is. It's colorless water going through a blue vessel that looks blue, it only outside would, outwardly looks blue, but really the water is colorless. Rabbi, when you're in the sun, it could not be a ray, it's already absorbing it. You could say there is no ray. I'm sorry, what? It's already in it. If it's what? So Where? It's so abstract. What is abstract? And then what you said, what is abstract? All the sephirot. Yeah. It's so abstract that it's inside it. What do you mean inside it? it? It cannot be separated. There is no separation. There is. That's the uniqueness of Atsilas. In Atsilas, there's 10 distinct levels. There's not 11. There's not 9. There's 10. In evil, there's 11. But in Kedusha, there's 10. 10 is completeness. But over there, the Alter is explaining over here that the Chochmah of Atzilus, Ches Bin, Ches whatever, it's not a tangible level of Chesed, or Chochmah, or whatever. It's the source that later on, in Bria, when it comes lower, through the Parsa, through the curtain, so to speak, then it becomes tangible level of Chochmah. There is no Chochmah, tangible Chochmah, in Hamad Shkorfu, how does he study Torah? It's, it's the source of Chochmah, right? It's a good thing today is Tuesday and not Wednesday. Because if today would be Wednesday and you already davened, I said, did you daven today? Hanayta Eizen, Halo Yishma, and Yitzir Ayin, Halo Yabit. Now, what is David Amar saying to him over there? If God made an eye, can he not see? If you made an ear, can he not hear? What does that mean? What's David Amalek saying? Does that mean that Hashem has an ear? It says if Hashem is the source of hearing, there is that level in Alukus in a much more refined way as source. So it means that it has it. It has it, it, has it in the potential to be a source. And then there's levels of Alukus. I'll give you another example. You have coals on a, on a barbecue. Yeah? So sometimes that's called gecholam emimis. They're not lit. They're not lit up. They're not fiery. If you blow on it, the fire is going to come out. Correct? But there's no open fire in it. You touch it, you're going to burn yourself bad. But there's no open fire in it. Correct? So what is it? It's the source of fire. But that source of fire, all you have to do is blow on it and fire is going to come out. Correct? Yes. The Torah Chalamish, the Flintstone, 
you can blow from today till tomorrow, nothing's going to come out. One second, one second. You're going to have to rub it. And then you'll create the fire. Yes? Which means they're both sources of fire. But even in the source of fire, you have a tangible source and you have an abstract source. These are, by the way, these Mishon that I give, not my Mishon, the Mishon Machsidus gives in the various different potential states of Elokus. There's a potential state that Shem is the source. Okay? There's no open fire. You blow on it a little bit. Sometimes you need a blacksmith with the bellows, you know. You need a greater power to activate. So it's a more abstract source. And then you have SS Fierce, like you this is what it's called. Then you have a level of a locus that they, they, it, it's, it's a distance, it's a more refined potential. You need an action to do it. But, the, but this is a different level uh, in the way Hashem has the potential in creating world. You know, I told you the miracles of this. I don't know what I'm talking about. And you say, yeah, you understand. It's unbelievable. I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's what he's saying over in Atzilis. In Atzilis, there's no tangible chachma yet. But it's not the source like Tzor Halomish. There's a distinct level of chachma already. But it's not tangible chachma. It's, there's no hand of Hashem in Atzilis. There's no water in Atzilis. Chesed of Atzilis is the source of a right hand. It's the source of water. What? It's clear as mud. Okay, you guys are good. So he says, top of your doubt. Raksha bishtao shalis, the sayyid is a madrega madrega ha madrega, nizgashmo achinim shem bachinis chesed mesikos, until it comes down here in a way of actual physical sweetness. Even though lochaira, physical sweetness, has nothing to do with spiritual sweetness, mikama kim hu mazge utchunase. It's the same uh, compound, so to speak. Meaning, even in enjoyment, there's also different levels of enjoyment. For instance, there's Tainuk Shodvar Chochma, Ugamke Mesikas. When a person understands something properly, there's a certain sweetness, enjoyment that the person has. Then you have an uh, enjoyment of music. Right? Then you have, he doesn't say, but there's a mind in the mandas and the free that goes into different levels of, of enjoyments. There's enjoyment of eating and sleeping. Then you have enjoyment of doing a favor for some. Some people but you enjoy doing a favor to somebody. Then you have the enjoyment of music. Then you have the enjoyment of seichel. Then you have the enjoyment of godliness. Now these are all enjoyments, but you can't compare one to the next. The enjoyment of animal of, of eating and sleep is animalistic. An animal also enjoys eating and sleep. More refined is midas, more or nigun, and then more refined than that is midas. More refined than that is chachma. Most refined is enjoyment of alokus. So you can't say that even when it comes down here, there are different levels. That's why, like we said before. Chesed of Atzilis creates a hand and it creates water. And water. Water is also Chesed. It goes from high to low. Gvura, fire goes up low to high. That's Gvura. They're both Chesed of Atzilis. They both come down. Right hand represents giving. Left hand represents punishing. Nourishment. Right hand is nourishment. Left hand is eating. So that's why Chesed and Gvura. And therefore, the right hand, it has the components of chesed. Water has the components of chesed. What does that mean? Chesed means, if I do chesed to you, that means I'm in a better position, 
and I'm giving higher to lower. In this aspect, I, I have the food. You want the food, I give you food. That's chesed. Right? That's not so sorry, like we learned last night. That's hospitality. Hospitality means higher to lower. Correct? What is the level concept of a right hand? The component of a right hand is to give something to somebody. Water's component, it goes from high to low. Water goes from a high place to low place. So therefore, what is really the component of the, the essence of chesed? Essence of chesed is higher to lower. Gvoda's component basically is lower to higher. Therefore, all those creations that come from chesed of Atsilas in the physical world are similar to the attribute of chesed. Therefore, chesed doesn't create fire because fire doesn't have the components, the spiritual components of chesed. Therefore, spiritual chesed creates water. Spiritual water creates uh, fire. Spiritual chesed creates sweetness. Spiritual gevoda creates bitterness. Now, it creates bitterness, it creates fire, it creates uh, punishment, severity, awesomeness. These are all the similar components of what gevoda is, of what chesed is. But in that silas, it's all spiritual. Therefore, why when the Torah says that the Yidin saw the hand of Hashem, the Yari saw the Yod Right, all the expression Yad Hashem, Yad Hashem. What does it mean? Why is Yad? They saw Chesed of Atzilus. Why is it called Yad? Because that's the offshoot of Chesed of Atzilus is Yad, and that's what the Jews saw in the tangible way. They saw the physic, the spiritual level of Chesed. By the Mabel, they saw the spiritual aspect of Gevura. And when it says, God's nose got angry. But God has a nose. God sits, God stands, God talks. He doesn't have all that. But again, like we learned about speech, speech by a person, and by, therefore, by understanding speech, the concept of speech by a person, now when the terrorist says God spoke, we can understand what speech means by Hashem. Right? What do you think God spoke? He has a mouth and he spoke. No. That's how peak horses. Right? There's no body by Hashem. What does it mean? So Hashem helps us understand it from our world. What is speech by us? By understanding what speech by us is, then we can understand in a spiritual level what the concept of speech is by Hashem. What is speech by a person? I have a thought. I have a feeling. Okay. How do I reveal it? How do I reveal something hidden? So there's three ways of revealing it. I can reveal it to myself through thought. Let's say you love somebody. Let's say you, you're, you love somebody, yeah? Believe it or not, I'm sure. Okay. Maybe, maybe one. Okay. But you love somebody, yeah? When you're at work doing something else, you're not thinking about that person now. That doesn't mean you don't have the love. The love is there. The middle is there. The intellect is there. You know something. You, you, yeah, something intellect, you know. But you, you're doing something else, so that thing is not revealed to you. It's there, but it's not revealed. How do you reveal it to yourself? You think about it. You think about the person, how much you, you love it. You, you, but you express it to yourself. That's what thought is. You have to verbalize it. You have to yourself. No. They say the meaning doesn't... Okay, okay, okay. Now, when you want to reveal it to somebody else, then you need to speak it. Right. Okay. I could think I love you. Okay, let's say. I mean, I don't know. I have no choice. Okay, no. What the hell about so let, let's say, if I think about how much I love you, I reveal that to myself, not to you. You don't know what I'm thinking. I speak it, oh, the bottom line, okay, I reveal it to you. I want to reveal into action, either I kiss or I'll, I'll write I love you, give you a gift, whatever. That's big. 
So thought, speech, and action reveal the Mida. Okay, now, to, to explain this in another aspect, when I talk, air comes out. When I blow, air comes out. Blow. Okay. The difference between talking and blowing is talking, I can talk, 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 and I don't get tired. Blowing, it's more coming from the innards. Air also comes to the lungs and the heart, right, when you talk. But this is coming from the whole gut of the person. Okay, so what's speech, basically? Speech is revealing a previously concealed power, whether it's intellect or emotion. It says in Chumash, Vayemer Lekim Yehi Or, we learned a million times, Vayemer Lekim Yehi Or means Hashem had the power to create light, has the power to create light. But that power was hidden. It wasn't revealed. Vayemer Lekim, i.e., God revealed the power that he had to create light, and light became created. But when it comes to the Neshama, it doesn't say God said, let there be a Neshama. Hashem said, Nasa Oda, that's the body. Then it says, Vayipach ba'ap of Nishmas Chayim. Then it comes, Hashem blew a, a Neshama into other Marishim. Now, why doesn't it say, Hashem said, let there be a Neshama? Because the neshama of a Jew, which is mal, it's a part of God, is the essence of God. How does the Torah tell us that everything else in the world is external revelation of godliness? The neshama of the Jew is the essential revelation of godliness. So the Torah, the extension, so the Torah expresses it in our language for us to be able to understand. But it doesn't mean it's a precursor to say, oh, God had a mouth, and oh, all of a sudden, a big microphone, a text message to everybody in the world, he or. It doesn't work like that. It's a precursor to say, Hashem has a mouth and spoke. That- what does it mean? What does it mean when the Torah says Hashem spoke? It means the concept of speech. Okay? When we speak about Chesed of Atsilas, that it's the, the concept of Chesed of Atsilas is giving. Chesed. It's not a tangible giving, it's the source of giving. But therefore, when it comes down from the potential in Atsilas to the actual in this world, it creates creations that have the same characteristic traits as Chesed, giving. Gvura in, in, in the higher world is the potential of severity. When that potential comes into actuality, it becomes things that have the characteristic traits of Gvura. And that's why, by the way, it says, it's later, Hanaita Eizen Ali Yishma, that speaks about the Ebrister's potential powers of creation.